Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I haven't been making videos recently. It's been very cold and the ground's been frozen and miserable. And I haven't been able to get outside. Um, so today I went on a walk in a new place. And as I usually do, I find dumps. Um, this time is special though. It was, it must have been like a dairy or some sort of bottle producing area because... There were so many fragments from milk bottles and food products. So we'll start off at the end here. This is quite a common sort of looking bottle. It um usually they'd be in um like it have some embossing on the bottom, but this one doesn't. So it's just like um medicine. I feel like it might be a rubbing alcohol, but I don't know entirely about that. Next, this is really interesting. So this isn't just like a rock, as you can tell. This is actually a melted milk bottle. And the entire milk bottle is here. Unfortunately, I checked everywhere and there's no embossing on it. So I think someone melted um, this milk bottle, which would have been pretty nice and thrown it into the fire. Truly a shame. I would have liked to have it complete. <sighs> Next, I'll go back here. Um, a small, um, what is it? Blue jar. And it says, what is it? Noxzema. Quite a common, uh, sort of jar. Blue jar. Next, um, we have a paste jar. That's what they call it in England. It's actually... I'm pretty sure it's a type of pate, which is like a, almost like a spreadable meat. It sounds gross, but it's actually really good. Next, I have this. I It's either a wine, um, or I feel like it could be a champagne or something on the bottom. It says like, sorry, let me try and get this focused for you. There. S... I, can't, I still can't read it. If you can read it and know what it is, please tell me in the comments below because I cannot read that. Okay, next up we have um, a Welch's um, grape juice. This company is still making bottles today. Um, I'm, I think this is blown in a mold. I can see how the seam just comes up to the neck here and stops. It has some bubbles in it. Um, hopefully you can see it like right there. Sorry. There you go. And then last but definitely not least, I said before it was a dairy farm sort of dump. And I found my first ever intact milk bottle. I couldn't believe when I found this. Um, I, it, um, the way it was in the ground, you could just see the base and the top. And I didn't think it would be complete because I never find complete built bottles. It says one pint liquid um, M. Kosia and Bros Selected Dairies, Camden, New Jersey. So, so that's also pretty close to where I live so um that starts my collection of dairy bottles I guess um so please um if you know how much this is uh dairy bottles like this with the slug plate and a smaller slug plate where a sticker would be are how much they're worth please tell me in the comment section below so that's gonna be um it for today okay I'll see you guys later